Hey guys, I'm Firefighter Layton with the Salisbury Fire Department and today I will be reading Noel's Treasure Tale. The dark skies seem to open, pouring rivers of rain, as eleven brave galleons made their way back to Spain. They were loaded with treasure, gold and silver doubloons, thunder sounding the way on a night with no moon. The wind tossed them and turned them. Their fate was quite plain. They were all going down in a great hurricane. It was storming outside as the little girl read, and Noelle got so scared she hid under her bed. Let me read you the part about pirates and ghosts and the reason they call it the Great Treasure Coast. But Noelle, Noelle thought she'd heard way too much information. They were going right there the next day on vacation. Maybe we'll find the treasure, Noelle, some for each. There's a chance that it might have washed up on the beach. If the stories are true, one piece never found was a Christmas gift meant for the queen a gold crown. Noelle's head was spinning while watching a plan. She'd have to dig zillions of holes in the sand. If there was a treasure, by golly, she'd find it and maybe unravel the mystery behind it. When they got there, the two of them raced to the beach. As a seagull seemed to welcome they bo them both with a screech. Then Noelle, with excitement too hard to control, started digging away when she found a small hole. Noelle scooped out the sand till her snout could not fit, and then yelped as she felt a sharp pain in her chin. She flung her head back, and a creature with claws yelled and screamed as he hung there, attached to her jaw. Stop, stop, stop! What are you doing, intensive hound? You're a dog. There's no way you can live underground. I was digging for treasure. I was told it might be here. Didn't mean to upset you, said Noel, quite sincere. Listen up, said the crab. I've been searching forever. We might find it much faster if we both work together. Farther down on the beach, Noel saw, in a bunch, twenty sandpipers slurping up sand fleas for lunch. They were miniature birds running fast and fro, trying not to get caught in the waves under tail. One called out to Noel, we don't mean to butt in, but if treasure's your goal, goal in the forest begin. Noel crouched down and asked, want to go for a ride? The crab climbed on her back and they ventured inside. Glaring under some bush like two marbles, they shone eyes that stared at Noel like a dog at a bone. Then a deep, grumbly voice broke the still of the air. Whose permission have you to just traipse through my lair? What's your name? asked Noel for the big, fearsome cat. My name's Bob, he replied. Want to stop for a chat? I'm afraid we must go and continue our quest. We're in search of treasure. Any place you'd suggest? I suggest you take cover, the wise bobcat purred. There's a hurricane coming, or haven't you heard? Then we'd better get going, Noel said with no worry. We'll have to head back to the house in a hurry. They discovered a path and decided to follow, but the rain made them hide in a log, big and hollow. Noel thought out loud, what we need is a mat, but until it stops raining, we might as well nap. As Noel nodded off, she could hear distant thunder, while dreaming of treasure and pirates who plunder.
she was on a big ship being bounced side to side. Waves like mountains of water crashed and landed inside. At the helm was a seagull, like a statue he stood, with a patch on one eye and a leg made of wood. He was shouting out orders. Noel's heart, qu Noel's heart quickly sank. The dog's after me, treasure. She must now walk the plank. Sensor to station three, EMS respond. Noel felt a sharp sword poke her right in the back. A raccoon wearing boots had her under attack. Move along, scurvy dog, or I'll slice you in three. Noel took a deep breath and jumped into the sea. Just as soon as Noel was convinced she would drown, she discovered she was falling up and not down. On the back of a turtle who had swum down to save her, to the surface she rode on her turtle elevator. She said, how can I ever kindness repay? I will give you the treasure if I find it one day. The great, the great sea turtle said, I know just where it lies. I will whisper some clues that you must memorize. So Noel listened well, but then wanted to scream when she woke up to find out it was all a big dream. Her incredible dream to the crab she confided as she told him each clue that the turtle provided. At the edge of the forest, find the tree with the heart. Count twelve paces due east. It is there you will start. From that point you will see, fifty yards to the north, Several mounds in the sand, but your aim is the fourth. It is marked with a stick with a number and date. You must get there by dark or it will be too late. Noel's heart beat faster with each clue they found. All at once there was the mysterious mound. And just as Noel thought her journey was complete, something wiggly and jiggly shook under her feet. Little heads, tiny flippers, crawled out of the sand on their way to the ocean as if on command. Baby turtles, 100, scooted fast past Noel. Some took off the wrong way. One flipped back on its shell. Then a hungry raccoon and a rabbit snake showed up out of nowhere for sea turtle steak. But Noel, thinking fast, out of pure intuition, stood like a stone in their path, knowing this was her mission. Growled, growled and growled that was frightful, then chased them away, and each baby sea turtle she then led the right way. Far from shore, a huge turtle like the one she had dreamed of waved a flipper in thanks. At least that, that's how it seemed. Noelle figured her dream must have come as a sign. She glanced back at the mound where she saw something shine. One more turtle, she cried. We must dig farther down. Gently using her teeth, she pulled out a gold crown. To the day, one year later, in a palace in Spain, the king toasted Noel with a glass of champagne. I declare that Noel has a worth we can't measure for returning to Spain our historical treasure. The little girl hugged her and said, I'm so proud of you. Then a hip hip hooray burst from out of the crowd. Noelle thought to herself, though good gold may bring pleasure, she had learned from the turtles, life is the true treasure. And that, my friends, is the end of Noel's treasure tale.